Hey everyone, so we're going to make a landscape that is going to resemble balance in our art. So let's start with just making um, like a hill from left to right. We're just going to make this kind of curved line going across our page and it comes down like this. And then I'm going to add a tree over here on the right side because I want to show what it would look like to have a large item that would be a focal point of the picture. So let's start with just making a very simple tree trunk. Very, very simple. These would be two big branches coming out from the tree. And I'm just going to make a very simple bottom and curve it a little bit. And then we're going to make a big, um, once I erase this, you want to make sure you erase your lines because this tree is in front of that hill. But then we're going to make a big bushy, um, like an area for where all the leaves are going to go. There we go. And then what we're going to do is over here on the left side, we want to equal um, the balance a little bit. Without making this picture completely symmetrical, we're going to make it asymmetrical but still balanced. So I'm going to put a big bush over here. Very, very simple. And then we're going to put one behind it, I think. And to put something behind another item, you have to kind of tuck it in. And we're going to put it on top of this hill line here. So it looks like it's behind this bush. So now we have two bushes, one in the front and one in the back. And so far that's helping the balance to our composition. You can see the balance here, the area that's um, still open. I'm going to go back through here and we're going to make some fall leaves because fall is coming up. So I'm just making these little oval shapes and I'm putting a line through it to make some leaves, make them smaller and bigger within the tree. You can also make more bushy parts of the tree just by making these little wiggly lines. And for the next part I'm going to start adding more leaves, just having them float around the entire composition. Some might be on the ground, some can be floating in the air, and the closer they get to you, or the bottom of the page, the bigger they should look. Some are going to be in the distance, but I want to make a couple large ones as if they're like floating right at us. They're flying off that tree and they're coming right towards us. And it's also helping that I'm putting them over here in this empty space because that's creating more balance to our composition. And the closer things are to us, the more details we see. So we can add some lines to our leaves. And then after looking at the rest of our drawing here, I'd like to add some more details in some other areas. So maybe we can add some grass to the bottom area of this tree. And we need to make sure that we erase our lines in between, but I do want to see how this looks first. So yeah, so I'm gonna erase this area a little bit and then I'm going to add that grass there so the grass will look like it's behind the tree and also some in front of the tree like that
And there we go, we've added the details that we need before we start coloring. So I'm gonna use these um, gel sticks to color in my drawing here. And you can use watercolors, paints, colored pencils, markers, anything you'd like. But since this is a fall scene, I'm gonna use a lot of reds and oranges for my trees and bushes. So I'm just gonna start by adding some of this color in here and filling in these areas. And I don't have to use a lot, it looks like I'm kind of scribbling. That's because when I go to add water, like I said, it's gonna turn into more of a watercolor. So let's just start coloring this in. watching this video and learning about balance. Um, as you can see, this drawing and painting is almost done. I'm just finishing up a little bit of some details here and there. But the flow of this composition is really nice because we've got these leaves coming towards us and some really beautiful colors. So I hope you guys had fun and I look forward to seeing you again.